In March 2013, I started here at Star FM in Shepparton. In that time, I've had two radio wives been nominated for an ACRA. Fluke that one! And this is a recap of some of the things that I've learned along the way. Let's start from the beginning. Star FM's brand new Bricky Fame, Tommy and Candy. A few weeks in, I realised that working with any co-host, you find yourself in disagreements. And these are best settled on air. It's time for the Bruises and the Losers Boxing Pack. <laughs> It ended up in a draw, we put it to a Facebook poll. It turned out more people wanted to see me embarrass myself than Candy. Have you ever seen a man in a uh, in a netball skirt You're like this? Yeah. It's me, Oh! Yeah, give him a feel, feel that. No, no, no. Wish your mate was dancing a jig. I quickly learned that ideas can also backfire. How are you gonna get up now? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Probably the biggest lesson I learned in my 12 month working marriage with Candy was not to step on the locals toes. Especially when it's a local rapper who thinks he came up with the hashtag Shep Life. <laughs> He's here! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> He's actually here! Briggs is here! I'm up! I'm up before double figures. This all started when we posted on our Facebook page a photo of the rooster on the hill. <laughs> Which is nowhere near Shepparton. You know, it's on your way to Shepparton. So it's on your way to Sydney as well. And let's get this straight. So you're annoyed because we used your so-called hashtag in the clouds. There's one way we can settle this. I'm going to take you on stage and crucify you somewhere. Both of you. Like a good old-fashioned rap battle. Look at Briggs over here. He's talking a big game. Yet he comes on Star FM piggybacking off our fame. But on the down low, see, I've got the info. Tommy Warner PT. Couldn't even lift, bro. What's your fit spot? Run up the Shep Tower, Tommy used to strip but never had the manpower. On second thoughts, the biggest lesson I learnt was not to post a meme of yourself naked, stuck in a washing machine, reenacting a guy who actually got stuck in the washing machine because it'll end up on national television. Emergency workers took 20 minutes to free Lawrence Hearn by greasing him up with olive oil, making Lawrence famous on Sky News, the BBC, and of course Star FM Shepparton's Tommy and Candy Show. <laughs> So a year rolls around after a fast track divorce and I find myself back in another arranged marriage. Star FM Breakfast. This time with Stace, a legendary sounding, Kylie Minogue loving, positive go-getter, amazing dancer. I think that's it. Um, there is one more thing. Stace loves to share, especially with the mums of the GV who she thinks have a thing for me. It's uh, the Mother's Day challenge. We have pimped Tommy out to give Jane a gift thanks to Peter and his kids. I think they're rock. Yeah. Alright, bit of quiet. Oh, Let's... yeah, the taste test. Crunch. She's right in there. <laughs> Cream all over her face. Be honest. Oh, I'll give it a 10. It's oh. nice and warm. It's got a nice crunchy bottom. <laughs> Are you talking about Tommy or the spawn? <laughs> the good news is I soon found out we have quite a lot in common. We both don't like to be shown up by kids. If kids can do it, so can we! And that brings us to here, 19 months later in Shepparton. You know the funny thing, I never actually set out to do radio, but I live and breathe it now, I bloody love it. I get to wake up every morning, create, communicate and engage with people. You can't beat it. <laughs>